Okay, today's learning objective obviously is to be able to write a valid hypothesis statement. Now, a hypothesis, you may or may not remember from your previous science classes, is kind of an educated guess as to what you think the answer to a problem is. Um, we're going to take that a step further this year and, and understand that it is not simply that guess, but it is also something that is testable. By testable, we mean that we cannot simply state something that we cannot run a test on. The plants will grow. That doesn't give us anything to test plants on. If we're looking at the effects of fertilizer on plants, a good hypothesis might be that if fertilizer is added to the water of house plants, then the plants will grow taller. That becomes a testable statement because I'm not just testing whether or not the plants are growing taller. I'm testing a group of plants that have fertilizer added to the water and a group of plants that do not have fertilizer to the, added to the water. We will also find that a hypothesis correctly written is written as an if-then statement. As I said in the last slide, if fertilizer is added to the water for house plants, then the plants will grow taller. That is an if-then statement. Um, one further step that I'm going to kind of encourage you to take, but it will mainly be as you get a little older and have a little more background knowledge about the things you're studying, is to add the because in there. If fertilizer is added to the water of house plants, then the plants will grow taller because, and then you would explain why that's going to happen, such as because nutrients in the fertilizer are absorbed in the roots of the plants, something of that nature, or because the fertilizer has X and Y nutrients and the water does not, something, something that explains what the because is. Um, again, that's, that's more as you get a little bit older, but I do want to introduce it to you this year. A hypothesis um, in it will also include a couple of things called variables. There are independent variables, there are dependent variables, there's also something called a control variable. We will talk a lot more about that later. Um, but the very quick, um, basic definition of these things is that the independent variable causes change and that the dependent variable is basically what we are measuring. So in the case of my plants, the thing causing the change was the fertilizer, and the thing that we were measuring was the plant height. So what we get in a um, hypothesis statement is we have if, and then the independent variable, and then the then goes with the dependent variable. So we might do this. If, and then we're going to have the independent variable in here, then we're going to have the dependent variable at the end. If something that can cause change is, inter change is introduced, then we're going to have a change that we will be able to measure. So that's important to keep in mind as well when we're trying to identify independent variables and dependent variables. Let's now look at one or two more examples. Let's say that you have some sort of a, a problem that you're trying to answer that you're trying to look at whether or not chocolate may cause pimples or eating chocolate may cause pimples. So you're going to come up with a hypothesis with an if-then statement. Well, if should be the thing that's going to cause change. So in this case, we're looking at um, the chocolate. 
The then part will have to do with the thing we're going to measure, and that is the number of pimples that a student might have. So, if a student eats chocolate daily, then he or she will have an increased number of pimples. And when we do that, the independent variable is again the chocolate. The dependent variable is what we're measuring, the number of pimples. Independent having one line, dependent in this case having two lines. Again, um, the final thing that I need to emphasize here is that not only do we have an if-then statement, but this is testable. If you do not write it so that we can't, so that we can run a test, it is probably not a well-written statement. Um, I'm going to give you a chance to work on some problems or some writing of these hypotheses on your own, and hopefully you'll have some good luck, and, and we will certainly talk about those at a later date.